Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day. And this one is going to be very difficult to find an answer to straight away without just writing something down without finding a way into the problem. So let's have a look at what we've got. It says Sally multiplies the number by 100. Uh, answer as three digits. The hundreds and the ones digit, ones digit is another word for the units digit, are the same. The sum of the digits is 10. What number could Sally have started with? And are there any others? Well, this one appears to be talking about place value because it's talking about the hundreds digit and the ones digit. So the first thing we should do is write down our column headings. So we've got hundreds, tens, units, then the decimal point, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. And it says the hundreds digit and the ones digit are the same. So let's start to think what that could actually mean. Well, we could have a 1 in the hundreds digit and the units digit. But it does say that the sum of the digits needs to be 10. So if we've got a 1 and a 1, this would make the tens digit in between have to be an 8. Because 1, 8 and 1 makes 10. We could have a 2 and a 2, which would make the tens digit have to be 6. We could have a 3 and a 3, which would make the 10 digit have to be 4. Each time we're trying to make the digits add up to 10, the 3 digits add up to 10. We could have a 4 and a 4, which would make the 10 digit a 2. 4, 2 and 4 makes 10. And we could have a 5 and a 5, which would have to make the 10 digit 0, because, because 5, 0 and 5 makes 10. Now what we couldn't have is a 6 and a 6. Because 6 plus 6 makes 12, and 12 has already gone over the 10 that we are allowed. So we're going to stop at 6 and 6. Now it's important to realise that these numbers, 181, 262, 343, 424 and 505, are what Sally has ended up with after she multiplied her mystery number, her starting number, by 100. So to figure out what she started with, we've got to work in reverse. These have all been multiplied by 100 already, so we've got to divide by 100 to figure out where the starting numbers would be. So all of these numbers need dividing by 100. And to divide by 100, all the digits would have to move backwards two places. So the 181 would become 1.81, the 262 would become 2.62, 343, 3.43, 424, 4.24, and 505, 5.05. So any of those numbers are what Sally could have started with. So there are actually five different answers. Just let's double check. Her answer's got three digits, so these answers all have three digits. The hundreds and the one digit have always been kept the same, and the sum of the digits has always been 10. So that appears to work. So final answer, 1.81, 2.62, 3.43, 4.24, or 5.05.